Hi, and welcome to Twin Cities Real Estate Rhetoric. My name is Tom Summers, and I'm joined by my co-host, Toby Muma. Hi, Toby. Hi, Tom. How are you today? <laughs> Good. How are you? Awesome. <laughs> so, Toby and I are buddies. We work together. We're both licensed real estate agents in the Twin Cities area, Minneapolis-St. Paul. Our broker is Adina Realty. So, we are licensed agents, and we are looking to help you whether you're selling or buying. But the main reason we do this is because we want our clients to have more information and sometimes it helps them to be able to watch a video or read a blog to get that additional information. So we're working our way through contingencies and this is the last one in our series and we are going to talk about well and septic contingency. So this is if you're buying an acreage property or buying a home that has a well. Right. Toby? Roll with it. You want to know? I'm just kidding. Well, um, you tell Oh, me. yeah. If, if you're buying a property um, that has a well and a septic on it, usually it's an acreage property or there's some neighborhoods that are one acre, you know, plots and they have a shared septic or, you know, a, whatever. It's just any property that has a well or a septic on it, you are going to have a contingency where the buyer is requesting the seller provide um, well certification um, and have that test and provide this certification to the buyers as well as a septic. Yeah, um, cause these just, can, mm -hmm, well ahead. these can be both really big expenses. Cool. So essentially what you're having them test is you're having them test the water quality to make sure that there's no pollutants. Right. Uh, and for the septic, just making sure that the septic functions properly, because nowadays, at least here in Minnesota, if the septic goes bad, you're looking at fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. That's yeah. a huge bite. So again, this is another contingency, which is what that is in a contract. Is it's a stopgap for the buyers to back out of a contract if they find something about the home in their investigation process yeah. that makes them not want to buy the house. Right. But, the, yeah. but to it's Toby's the, point on the earlier one, you had mentioned also that <laughs> some people have wells from the houses that were built in oh, the 60s, but they're in right. town. Mm -hmm. So tell and, people about that. Well, they're just there. They're, if there's ever been a well that's been capped and there are houses that were built in the 60s, I know, you know, in uh, neighborhoods right here around Lakeville, and there's actually wells that have been capped and you need to get the um, well certification that it has been capped and it has, you know, provides all the documentation that it is closed. Yeah. Um, and it's just something that's a part of the, um, part of the purchase agreement. And actually, just quickly, I had a property that was built in 90, probably the late 90s, and it had a well, which was just really weird. Um, yeah, they were saying it has, a, yeah, and it was, and it's right in the metro neighborhood. I mean, you know, and um, I was surprised that one had a well. I don't know why it did, but it was just kind of like, wow. So they can be anywhere. Well, yeah, and, and also, too, the lenders typically will not loan the money until they know that the well piece has been taken care of, and then you've yeah. got the Department of Health and all these other things. So it's just another safeguard to make sure that the seller takes care of the things they need to take care of for yep. you as the buyer before it closes. Yep, and if there is an issue, the septic's bad, the well's bad, or it needs to be capped, you can request that the seller takes care of it. Yep, exactly. So just to review, we've talked about all the contingencies today. We've also talked about each one of them in detail. So you can go on to YouTube. You can go to our Facebook page, Twin Cities Real Estate Rhetoric, to find these different videos. Yep. Um, we've talked about the financial, con financial contingency, which is for, you know, your purchasing of the home with, your, with all of the bank stuff. We yep. have the CIC contingency, which is for common interest and community. Yep. Yep. The inspection contingency for just general home inspection, as well as the sale contingency for the sale of the buyer's, buyer's property. Home. And now this one, which is the sewer and well. So yep. if you want more information on any of those, you can find it. That's right. Thanks so much. We appreciate you uh, taking five minutes out of your day to watch this train wreck. <laughs> 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 Call us if you have questions, though. All, all kidding aside, we, we are happy to help you answer yeah. any questions. Email us, call us, whatever. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, Tom. Bye. <laughs>